Our stock in focus today is Penta Master Corp. CGS CIMB research downgrading the stock from add to hold and cutting its target price from 5 ringgit 85 to 5 ringgit 60. Penta Master last closed at 5 ringgit 45. So Penta Master announced a record second quarter top line last week at 131 million ringgit, thanks to higher sales at its automated test equipment division. Sales climbed 20% quarter on quarter with higher project delivery from the electro-optical segment thanks to the recovery in smartphone demand. However, gross profit margin fell to 29% from 29.8% in the previous quarter, which CGS CIMB says is due to higher outsourcing cost and an unfavourable sales mix. Core net profit tumbled by 13.6% quarter on quarter to 18.2 million ringgit. As for the first half, revenue grew by 21% year on year to 245.81 million ringgit, driven by higher sales from its electro optical segment. This was, however, partially offset by weaker automotive equipment sales following supply chain disruptions. EBIT margin in the first half slid 0.8 percentage points year-on-year to 24.1% due to an unfavourable sales mix and higher operating and depreciation expenses. Looking ahead, CGS CIMB says Pentamaster is optimistic that its second-half sales delivery will be stronger, driven by resilient demand for its 3D magnetometer tester. The group is addressing the equipment delivery issue by setting up assembly facilities facilities in China and Japan, which are expected to start in the fourth quarter of this year. Still, the research house expects Pentamaster to incur above-average OPEX due to startup costs for regional offices and higher raw material and transportation cost. It cuts its FY21 to FY23 EPS forecast by 5 to 7 percent. So what's the consensus? According to Bursa Marketplace, there are three buys and two holes on Pentamaster. Average target price six ringgit thirteen. Penta Master closed at five ringgit forty-five yesterday, so that's a potential return of about twelve percent.